Hey folks, how's it going? Dr. Spin. On my quest to find my favorite albums from 2021, I've been working through this big system of bracketed eliminations, and I've been trying to take these out and put them out in public so you guys can see what's going on with this, see my mental processes as I head towards the top 20 for this year. Um, I'll be putting a couple of clips up at the end of this video for each of these artists so you can listen to them both and see if you agree or disagree, and then sound off below in the comments. Tell me, tell me what you think, okay? So for today's elimination, I'm looking at Raphael Anton Irisari's Solastalgia album versus Niels Fromm's All Melody. Now, I have a hard time with this. This is like the most, most painful ones I've done so far because I think both these albums are really super fantastic. And this is going to be happening more and more as we go along. So it, we're not even talking about good or bad. It's just like small preferences. And I, I have a very strong connection with the Solastalgia album. I think it's, it's, it's inexplicable the way that it kind of makes me have an emotional reaction to it. I mean, sound-wise, it sounds like you've got this, this sort of choir of monks and an orchestra in this huge choir orchestral hall. And the orchestral hall is just like sort of dissolving and melting. Um, and the, the choir just continues to sing inside of it. That's the sound that it feels like um, when you listen to, to Solastalgia. The album itself is supposed to be inspired by the sense of sort of of nostalgic dread that people feel when with, when faced with uh, the changes in, uh, due to climate change. So there is that kind of emotional content to it. But I'm really just drawn in by the huge sounds that he uses on this album and the, and the unique way in which they they play with very glacial melodies underneath and you know on top of this huge snowstorm of white noise that goes on top of them. Fantastic, fantastic album. But let's put that in comparison to Niels Fromm. Now, Niels Fromm's album is no less reserved than, than Soul Stop. In some ways, maybe even more so. But there's an accessibility to what Niels Fromm does that's very difficult to overlook. Even though it's very kind of quiet and mellow nighttime style music, there's a there's kind of a groove, a fun a bubbliness to it, I guess. Um, and the way that he, he keeps that kind of playful energy going, even in this muted sense, is is worth noting. Also, in, in addition to that, Niels Fromm recorded this album at the Funk House, which is a recording studio in Germany with legendary status. The space that Niels Fromm recorded in is as important as the music and the instruments that he plays, and he captures it all extremely well in this recording. It, the, the sound quality of this recording is 100% pristine to the point where you can actually hear like the mechanics of, of the piano playing, like the internal workings of the piano and, and um, very unique uh, reverb uh, effects that he used that were just naturally occurring in the room or were built into the room to naturally occur. So um, as much as I love Solastalgia and as hard as it is for me to, tell, to, to admit this, I'm gonna have to go with Niels Fromm's All Melody on this one. It's gonna have to go into the next round. Now I am working out a way in which some albums of which I, I feel like probably could go on but just got eliminated, um, might be able to continue later on in the, in the game. So not out of the woods yet with Solastalgia. This is one that might be up there again, but for this particular elimination, I think Niels Fromm's a clear winner. So agree or disagree, please let me know. If you wanna know when more of these videos are gonna happen, please like and subscribe and share it out with your friends. And until then, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.